Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome to the Irony of Gaming. And I just wanted to uh, do a quick little video for you guys. Um, I just wanted to talk about the recruitment uh, section. The uh, 150 roles. So just wanted to make just wanted to let you guys know to you know make sure not to forget to roll all of this because what happens is once you roll them, you actually get a separate currency to the game. So what happens is when you try to do that, you get an anniversary um, task planet points, which is completely different from the regular task planet points, and there's a shop to it. Um, I had realized that I had forgotten a, um, when I was rolling for some of these, for some of the 150, and then I realized, I was like, oh wait, there's a shop to this thing. So uh, I kind of forgot a little bit. <laughs> But as soon as that, but as soon, as soon as I realized that, I was like, oh, you know, this could easily be forgotten. I was like, yeah, I just want to be able to let you guys know, just to make sure that you guys don't forget. So I finished rolling my 150 rolls. Now what will happen is I'm going to go into the shop section. And go into the exchange center. Then scroll all the way. Wait, actually, um... No, 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 seasonal. Yeah. So go to the seasonal section and then go all the way down to the event currency. Go right here and boom, there it is. And as you can see, this is going to give you like a, a set of 3,000, but this is a different currency. It's not it's not your regular task planet points. These are different ones, which means that you have to get all 3,000. Once you roll all 150 of those rolls, you'll end up unlocking all of this. You're able to get all of this. So let's get this. Plus, this gives you a free unit. Not only that, but it gives you a full set of swift gear, and this is tier 7 of the relic gear, which can definitely help you guys out in trying to complete the Shadow Palace. So it'll give you a nice little boost, this will give you a pure possibilities, which is also a good thing, and this will give you 10 fusion cores. A great shop to have, so make sure you guys don't forget that. Don't forget this shop. This will definitely help you progress your account more efficiently. And there you have it. Um, yeah, so I just want to show you guys that. And also, too, um, here's some progress on here's an update on the on for the second account. So I have like two left, and I just need to get this stuff. I just need to just play the game and get the Eternium stuff to 350 just got to spend that much and I'll be done and I'll get the units right here I'll get the free awaken unit that I was waiting to get and you know what, what I'll do too hmm? the president title what's this Oh, so it does do that, doesn't it? Let me check something real quick. Does it change the presidency? Hmm. Apparently, if you, I guess if you're offline too much, you lose the presidency on there. I mean, I created this, uh... What is it? This consortium right here, so... Hmm. I had no idea that it would switch control. Weird. But, or maybe it's just a glitch. Who knows? But, um, yeah, so. Was, oh, yeah. So I was going to transfer. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to uh, switch over to my other account, the third account that I, that I was uh, having the walkthrough with you guys on. And I'm going to show you a little bit of progress on that one, too. So, see you in a bit. Okay guys, so I switched over to my other account, third one, the Sun Bros, and I want to show you a little bit of the progress that I, the update progress that I was doing for the account, in terms of the, you know, the Annie event, so as you can see, I got like three left, 
So I just gotta do two more of the raids, and I just gotta do a limit fusion, which is super easy to do. And this is it right here. So this is my progress for the shadow fragments. So I do have to spend a little bit more in order to be able to complete this. Um, I'm, I'm able to, I managed to be able to get the account to, you know, beat at least the first part of it. So I have to, so for a set amount of days, I have to show up here now and then and just keep beating the first stage for a few more days each time just so I can be able to complete this but as you can see I'll just go here and this was a brand this is a brand new account too so it doesn't really have a lot of stuff and this was this was the team that I was using to do all this and you know what um Since I am here, actually, you know what? No, we'll we'll leave it like this for now. Let's do it like this, just so I could just show you guys. As you can see, Hilda is phenomenal against this. And, you know, it's like, it also depends, like, what, what Awaken that you have as well. So it's very important to, um, you know, try to get units that can complement whatever Awakens that you have. Yeah, Hilda is just amazing in this. But as you can see, it's still a little bit tough. And, you know, I still have, like, some pushback from them. But in the end, the results always become the same. Where they end up losing. So, there's definitely something, some units that I gotta level up some more in order to be able to accomplish this. But yeah, this this one here I have to uh, I gotta do something more with this. Maybe leveling them up or something, but I might as well just get her up to a hundred real quick. Wins up there too. I think I think it might be also a gear issue, so I, I have to I gotta get better gear. So I'm probably gonna do 
uh, farm some raids with this account maybe and yeah definitely gonna try that out oh well she's at 99 Yeah, but but yeah, um, but yeah, on my own time, I'm gonna try and uh, figure something out with this. But yeah, this was just a quick video. I just wanted to show you guys on the update on the two accounts, uh, showing you that you know I'm having some good progress with it, and I'm pretty close to getting the anniversary for both these accounts, which I will get because this will. Um, I just gotta sign in a little bit more. Um, I think I got like two left for the second account. Yeah, I have two left for the second account. Just gotta play, uh, just gotta use up the Eternium more, but yeah. Um, also too, guys, I, I did post, I will be posting a video uh, later on today on, uh, what is it, one, doing the one attempt shot on the 150 uh, Kraken. I posted something yesterday, which it has a very high chance of, of clearing, but there was still like a, you know, there was like a, um, there's still like a possibility that you can fail where like the Kraken will just survive it by a thread. However, this next vid, the next video of the 150, um, Kraken, this next one is going to be like a hundred percent of the time. So every single time you use this comp, you will clear it every time. So be on the lookout for that. It'll say like a hundred percent chance, a hundred percent clear chance. Um, level 150 Kraken, so be on the lookout for that. And also, too, if you guys are uh, wondering if I have like any more of the tutorial videos, I do. Is I have a whole playlist on the channel of uh, tutorial videos, so feel free to check that out. And also, too, I have a few examples of my tutorial videos in the bottom of the description, so be able to check. So be sure to check that out too. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, if you found it useful feel free to leave a like and if you didn't feel free to leave a dislike but till then i'm out of here stay chill guys and remember don't fear the reaper